To remove the drive motor, the dryer top, front, and clothes drum must be removed first. Remove these three screws securing the control panel trim. Please note that this is a view from the rear of the machine. Slide the trim to the left and lift it off of the panel. Now remove these two screws securing the lid to the cabinet. Lift the lid from the front to release it from the notches and tabs at the rear corners. Slide the lid forward to release it from the slot and tab. Now remove these two screws that secure the control panel assembly to the cabinet. Disconnect the control panel ribbon cable from the power board as seen here. Now lift the control panel straight up and off of the cabinet. Remove these two screws from the bottom of the dryer front. Remove these two upper screws and lift the dryer front off of the cabinet. To remove the tub, first create side clearance by spreading the cabinet open slightly. To do this, remove this screw from the power board support bracket at the left side. Leave the bracket stationary and remove this single screw attaching the cabinet wrapper to the front of the blower housing. Spread the cabinet open slightly. This creates the gap between the tub and wrapper needed to remove the clothes drum. The belt needs to be released before removing the drum. This is done from the front of the machine. Insert both hands in the areas indicated on screen to access and maneuver the belt tensioning system. The idler pulley, viewed here from the left side of the tub, needs to be moved to the right to release the tension on the belt. Push against the idler assembly here. The rod is spring steel and will bend enough to lock it into this hooked area of the motor bracket. The technician's left hand will release that tension. The technician's right hand will come in under the center of the tub and slip the belt off of the pulleys. Hook the idler pulley into the motor bracket on the left side. With the idler assembly locked into place, both hands can now be used to slip the belt off of the pulleys. Be sure to wear protective Kevlar gloves and sleeves during this procedure. There are many sharp edges inside the machine compartment of the dryer. From the front of the machine, grasp the belt with one hand and the front edge of the tub with the other and slide the tub forward, out of the rear bearing, and then out of the cabinet. Remove the two screws that fasten the blower housing to the cabinet. Disconnect motor and belt switch wiring. Remove these two screws fastening the motor bracket to the cabinet. Use a long Phillips screwdriver with a magnetic tip to avoid injury or loss of screw. Remove this single screw that fastens the drum outlet safety to the blower housing. Push the motor and blower assembly towards the rear while lifting the rear of the motor bracket up and over the tab protruding from the dryer bottom. Disconnect the ground wire, then remove the motor and blower assembly. Loosen the blower wheel clamp and pull the blower off of the motor shaft. Remove the two screws from the blower side of the motor bracket, securing the front motor strap. Loosen the two motor strap screws and remove the strap from the motor. Compress the rear motor strap and remove it from the motor. This is done by firmly pressing down on the large hump in the clamp and pulling the bottom of the clamp off of the motor mounting bracket. No tools are necessary for this procedure. This concludes this training video.